basic concepts definition if f and g are functions of x such that g dash x equals fx then the function g is called a primitive or antiderivative or integral of fx with respect to x written symbolically integration of fx dx equals gx plus c that can be written as d d x of g x plus c equals f x. Note that here c is a constant value. f x is called the integrand and x is called the variable of integration. Let's take an example for better understanding. We know that d d x of sin x equals cos x or d d x of sin x plus c equals cos x that is integration of cos x dx equals sin x now let's take different values of c which is the constant of integration we can put c equals to 2 or c equals to e or 7 by 23 we see that for all the values of c d dx of sin x plus c is equal to cos x we observe that antiderivative for cos x is not unique. Actually, there exists infinitely many antiderivatives of each function which can be obtained by choosing c arbitrarily from the set of real numbers. We already know the formulae for the derivatives of many important functions. From these formulae, we can write down immediately the corresponding formulae referred to as standard formulae for the integrals of these functions. d dx of x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 equals x to the power n and its corresponding integral is Integration of x to the power n dx is equal to x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c where n is not equals to minus 1. d dx of x equals 1. Therefore, integration of dx equals x plus c. d dx of sin x equals cos x. Therefore, integration of cos x dx is equal to sin x plus c. d dx of minus cos x equals sin x. Therefore, integration of sin x dx equals minus cos x plus c. d dx of tan x equals sec square x. That is, integration of sec square x dx equals tan x plus c d d x of minus cot x equals cos x square x. Therefore, integration of cos x square x dx equals minus cot x plus c. d d x of sec x equals sec x tan x. Therefore, integration of sec x tan x dx equals sec x plus c. d d x of minus cos x equals cos x cot x. Therefore, integration of cos x cot x equals minus cos x plus c. d d x of sin inverse x equals 1 by root over of 1 minus x square. Therefore, integration of dx by root over 1 minus x square equals sin inverse x plus c. d d x of minus cos inverse x equals 1 by root over of 1 minus x square. Therefore, integration of d d x by root over 1 minus x square equals minus cos inverse x plus c. d d x of tan inverse x equals 1 by 1 plus x square. Therefore, integration of d x by 1 plus x square equals tan inverse x plus c. d d x of minus cot inverse x equals 
1 by 1 plus x square. Therefore, integration of dx by 1 plus x square equals minus cot inverse x plus c. d dx of sec inverse x equals 1 by x into root over x square minus 1. Therefore, integration of dx divided by x into root over x square minus 1 equals sec inverse x plus c. d dx of minus cosec inverse x equals 1 by x into root over x square minus 1. Therefore, integration of dx divided by x into root over x square minus 1 equals minus cosec inverse x plus c. d dx of e to the power x equals e to the power x. Similarly, integration of e to the power x dx equals e to the power x plus c. d dx of log of mod x equals 1 by x. Therefore, integration of 1 by x dx equals log mod x plus c. d dx of a to the power x divided by log a equals a to the power x. Therefore, integration of a to the power x dx equals a to the power x divided by log a plus c. Now you can easily summarize all the formulas which we have seen just now in the following table. Graphical interpretation. Let fx equals 2x. Then gx equals integration of fx dx. That is integration of 2x dx. Which is equal to 2 into x square by 2. Cancelling out the common terms, we get the result as x square plus c. Where c belongs to the set of real numbers. Now you will note that gx comes out to be a family of parabolas. Putting different values of c, we will get infinitely many parabolas. Let's see the graphical representation considering different values of c. You can see the graphs for the value of c equals to minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. Clearly, you can note that all these curves are similar. Now, we draw a line x equal to a intersecting these curves at different points. We have considered a greater than 0, though it can assume any real value. Since dy dx, that is d dx of gx equals 2x, dy dx represents the slope of the tangents x equal to a, all the points p of minus 2, comma p of minus 1 up to p of 2. Therefore, slope of tangent is 2a for all curves at these points. Therefore, the tangents are parallel. Note that the antiderivative forms a family of curves having equal slope at a given x.